Right, so I got this ducted fan uh, motor. It's actually a brushless motor designed to be used with the remote control airplanes. Now, my intent was not to use this for a remote control airplane, rather for one of my projects. Um, problem was I ran into a little issue. These little motors, they're really sophisticated. They require high-tech electronics to make it turn. So it wasn't as easy as just to plug and play. I mean, it's got three wires coming out of this thing. And they're... Uh, Uh, pulses, uh, sequential pulses within these that make that thing turn. And you need a fancy electronic device called an ESC. Uh, unfortunately, this ESC only works if you if it's connected to a uh, remote control transceiver. So when you you know accelerate or decelerate, it it, it monitors and controls the uh, duct fan. Now, I didn't want to spend money in buying a transceiver. So, I did a little bit of research and found out that they make this little cute thing. A couple bucks, very cheap. It's a tester. It's called a server tester and it's designed to test your equipment, your fan, without having to test it on the plane. Now, there's, a, you know, input power. It's usually from 7 to 9 volts, I think. and But I'm using 12 volts and it's working fine. So let's do a dry run test, see what happens. Hopefully this won't take off on me. It's my 12 volts. This thing is making noise. I can see it trying to move. Those are the pulses. I'm sure if I turn that dial, those pulses will increase. Hmm. Let's see what happens. button here and see what it does. So there it is. It works pretty good. Now, if you notice, it has a little button here, and there's three positions. It's got a, a manual, a neutral, and an automatic. So there it is. There's one way to bypass the uh, transceiver. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, please do so uh, in the comments below. Thank you.